I do not encourage or condone the use of tobacco or cannabis products, and if you're under the age of 18, you can go ahead and get out of here right now. Alrighty, so today I'm going to be smoking and reviewing the Backwoods Sweet Aromatic Cigarella, you know what I'm saying? I'm very, very excited to try this, mainly just because this seems to be more of a plain flavored Backwoods, which is something that I have not seen a lot, you know what I'm saying, and is something that honestly kind of seems interesting to me, and as such, I'm very excited to try it because of that reason, you know what I'm saying? I think without further ado, though, I'm going to go ahead and start taking a look at the packaging, then I'm going to actually get the Cigarella out, let you guys know how it looks, how it feels, what the quality of it is like you know what i'm saying and then i'm gonna go ahead and give it a light and let you guys know how the backwoods sweet aromatic actually is you know what i'm saying but i think without further ado let's go ahead and start taking a look at the packaging the packaging for this cigarello i gotta be completely honest y'all is definitely not the most unique thing in the world but it's certainly still very very nice it's got the classic backwoods packaging you know what i'm saying it's the classic backwoods packaging so in that regard it is not unique but i gotta be completely honest y'all the background is super super interesting you know what i'm saying it's super super interesting it's kind of like a corn husk type look to it it, I would want to say kind of thing which definitely gives this cigarello a very rustic a rust, very rust, rustic feel. I'm slipping over my words right now, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting my words all jumbled up but it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Let's continue on though, you know what I'm saying? But it definitely gives the cigarello a very rustic look that is something that I really really do appreciate you know what I'm saying and it's definitely a nice little bit of a break from the normal backwards packaging which honestly is always great I always love backwards packaging I gotta be completely honest y'all but sometimes it's just nice to go back to the simple stuff and this certainly is a lot more simple you know what I'm saying of course up here we just have the normal backwards with the slight change in texture from just kind of like matte -y gloss I'd have to say to pure gloss I'd have to say up here you know what I'm saying and then the texture of this right here is the same as the cigarette but then this texture is the same as here right here kind of thing and it just says sweet aromatic cigar one you know what I'm saying so really no complaints on my behalf overall pretty good looking but not really anything going on it says all natural leaf wrapper right there and of course we have the warning just saying cigars are not a safe alternative to cigarettes they are not you know what I'm saying cigars are not a safe alternative to cigarettes and that's pretty much the front of the packaging what is my overall thoughts on the front of the packaging front of the packaging looks pretty good a little bit basic but that's not really a complaint on my behalf you know what I'm saying definitely a very rustic looking cigarette or oh, sorry not cigarette Cigarello, and definitely something I am very interested in trying, you know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and take a look at the back of the packaging, though. The back of the packaging just has backwoods up here, of course. The classic backwoods just line of text right there, you know what I'm saying? Basically just saying they don't make pretty cigars, they make the best ones they can, and then going over how it's aged and all of that sort of stuff. So really, nothing to, no, nothing I've seen, nothing I haven't seen before, you know what I'm saying? And then down here just says backwoodscigars.com, made in the Dominican Republic, distributed by ITG Brands LLC, Greensboro, North Carolina, 27 for 20. <laughs> sale only allowed in the United States with another warning label right there. So overall, pretty good looking packaging. Definitely not as good as some other backwoods, but as said, it's still not really bad at all. It's still not really bad at all, and it's definitely something that is a more rustic feeling bit of packaging, you know what I'm saying? So no complaints on my behalf with that, you know what I'm saying? No complaints on my behalf. I think without further ado, though, it is time to go ahead and get this opened up and go ahead and actually take a look at what the Cigarello looks like, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and get this opened up just like that, you know what I'm saying? And let's go ahead and get it out. So let's go ahead. Actually, real quick, I'm going to go ahead and smell it real quick, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Wow, that smells really good. It kind of smells like... A grapier version of the white uh, of the of the white Russian. I, I got to be completely honest, or of the Russian cream. You know, what I'm saying definitely kind of just smells very similar to the Russian cream. So I am very excited to try this. You know, what I'm saying let's go ahead and just get this out though, and let's go ahead and smell it again. Yeah, that kind of smells like the Russian cream. That is odd. So if this tastes like the Russian cream, I will have really no complaints, you know what I'm saying, because I love the Backwoods Russian cream. Probably one of my favorite cigarellos right now, and just such a good tasting cigarello. I got to be completely honest, y'all, and definitely something I really enjoy. Wow, that smells really good. Of course, it's just the classic backwoods look kind of thing. Nothing really too pretty here or anything like that. It's just the classic, hey, look, we're natural. We're the American spirit of, of cigarellos kind of thing. I feel like that's kind of what Backwoods is trying to go for, and it's working. I gotta be completely honest, y'all. They definitely have the whole natural leaf wrapper look going. It doesn't look nearly as manufactured as brands like Game or White Owl or anything like that, you know what I'm saying? But I think without further ado, it is time to go ahead and get the Backwoods Sweet Aromatic cigar Cigarello lit up, you know what I'm saying? I keep almost saying cigar, even though this is a Cigarello, even though it does say cigar on here. It's a Cigarello, you know what I'm saying? But I think without further ado, let's go ahead and get this lit up, and let's go ahead and see how it is, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yes, Yes, sir, yes, sir. And of course, as soon as I want to light it, the wind picks up, you know what I'm saying? But let's go ahead and try this again. Oh, 
still have not managed to get this lit. This definitely is certainly a challenge to get lit right now. I think it's because of all the tobacco right there. I'm just really just hard to actually get it to the paper kind of thing. But let's go ahead and just keep burning this off. Maybe I should have brought a bigger lighter or something with a slightly bigger flame. I got to figure out how to adjust the flame on this one, you know what I'm saying? But let's go ahead and give it another go. There we go. I got a little bit on that one. I'm gonna go ahead and probably relight it again in just a moment. But the draw is extremely tight. And this is a problem I have with backwoods. Because they're not manufactured per se, the smoke is not the exact same every single time. Sometimes it's very airy and sometimes it's not. And it's super, super tight. And that is the issue I'm having right now. It's so tight, it's hard to draw. Yeah, I'm gonna have to relight this. This is so tight, it's actually really, really hard to draw. Got a little bit on that one too, but really not much. Really not much. And this is my issue with backwoods. This is why backwoods are something that it's kind of like I love backwoods. Don't get me wrong. Backwoods are probably my favorite cigarello brand. But I got to be completely honest with y'all. They are annoying in this regard. Some of them are just so tight that it is kind of annoying. But what I'm going to do in a moment is I may loosen it up myself. Yeah, this is just too tight to even smoke right now. So that is really one of my issues. Backwoods production kind of thing. It just really does vary. They really want to try to make it look like it's not machine made. It is machine made, but there are definitely a lot of variations, which is definitely something that is a little bit annoying. And this is not the first time I've had this happen with the Backwoods Cigarello. This is the second time I've had it happen where it's so tight, it's almost hard to draw. So this is the second time I've had this happen kind of thing. And it is a little bit annoying, I will be completely honest with y'all, but I'm gonna go ahead and just try to loosen it up with my fingers kind of thing. Try that same tactic that I tried with American Spirits a while back and see if I can get it any looser and see if I can get it smoking any better, you know what I'm saying? So let's just go ahead and just keep loosening it up. Just press, press, press kind of thing. Just keep loosening it up, you know what I'm saying? That's pretty much the goal right here. And it is definitely working. I am definitely loosening it up a little bit kind of thing. And that is pretty much just the goal, you know what I'm saying? That is pretty much the goal. But I hope y'all's day is going absolutely, absolutely fantastic so far, you know what I'm saying? I cannot complain on my behalf. No complaints on my behalf, you know what I'm saying? I'm having a pretty good day so far. It is a little bit chilly out here, but that's not really too big a complaint. Went to the thrift shop earlier today and it was pretty nice. Didn't find anything, but it was still fun, you know what I'm saying? But if you guys aren't having an absolutely fantastic day, well, I hope this video can just make your day a little bit better, you know what I'm saying? But let's go ahead and try to take another draw. This is just not going well. I got a little bit on that one again, and the taste is very good. Don't get me wrong. The little bit of taste I'm getting from that was very, very good. But this is definitely something, as said, where it's just kind of like, oh, man, it's it's just not hitting right, which I know, I know. Most of the sweet aromatic backwoods, you're probably going to be able to smoke them perfectly fine. But this is definitely still something where it's kind of like, well, I, I would like to be able to smoke it out of the package. I don't want to have to cut it up or anything like that kind of thing to be able to smoke it or to have to smoke it. And that seems to be what this is all about. That seems to be what this is all about. I'm going to go ahead and try once again to get this relit. Just put my other pair of sunglasses on top of the packaging so I don't lose it, you know what I'm saying? And it is getting a little bit breezy, so I may just wait a minute. I do apologize, you know what I'm saying? But this is a little bit of a disappointment. I got to be completely honest with y'all. This is a little bit of a disappointment. But honestly, though, the taste I got from that little bit of smoke was a very, very nice taste. And it was definitely something that it was a little bit reminiscent of the white, of, of the, I keep almost saying the white Russian cream, of the Russian cream backwoods cigarello, you know what I'm saying? It was very reminiscent of that, and as such, was very nice, and I really did enjoy the taste, but this is annoying me right now. This is annoying me right now. Still very little, and I'm literally pulling as hard as I can with that last one. Such little smoke or anything, or anything, and this really is just getting on my nerves. I gotta be completely honest, y'all. This really is just getting on my nerves. 
I try not to be irritated on video or anything like that, you know what I'm saying? But this, I will admit, is getting very much on my nerves and is irritating me just a little bit, you know what I'm saying? It's irritating me just a little bit. So this certainly is very much a disappointment. I was really hoping that this was going to be a lot better than it is, you know what I'm saying? And right here where it's actually warm, it seems to do pretty good. And it's not like I left this in my car overnight and it's frozen or anything like that. This was in my room all night before I took it out to come here, you know what I'm saying? And it was maybe sitting in my car for like 30 minutes kind of thing. In my car, I was I, I, I had the heat on for a little bit kind of thing. So it's not like this cigarello has any excuse besides it being packed too tight. So I may have to go there in, a, in, in there in a minute and just try to get some of the tobacco out, you know what I'm saying? But this is very much a disappointment, you know what I'm saying? I think I'm going to go ahead and just try to try to get some of that tobacco out, you know what I'm saying? I don't know really what the issue is, but let's go ahead and try to take another hit. Such little smoke. I got a little bit of smoke on that one, but I don't even know if you guys could see it on video. This is very frustrating. This is very frustrating, but the taste I'm getting off the smoke is very, very good, but since I'm getting so little of it, I can't really pinpoint any taste or anything like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try to start. I've got my other pair of sunglasses right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and try to just start poking some tobacco out of here, you know what I'm saying? Try to get some of that tobacco out. Maybe I'll just do it with my fingertips, you know what I'm saying? But this certainly is getting irritating. And I did not bring, usually I have a little pair of scissors in my car, but I did not bring those with me. Otherwise, I would be very tempted to go and get those, I gotta be completely honest with y'all. But I am just going to probably just snap it off right there and just try to smoke it from there and just see if the problem was that little bit, you know what I'm saying? Just see if the problem was that little bit. I know I'm gonna get a lot more tobacco in my mouth, but it is what it is. If I can actually smoke this, then it's worth it, you know what I'm saying? But let's go ahead and just try this once again. That was a lot better, but still not perfect, and I did get a lot of tobacco in my mouth, so I'm just gonna keep poking at this for a moment until there's no more tobacco that's gonna get in my mouth. And this leaf wrapper is definitely unwrapping a little bit. It's certainly not holding together super well, sadly, to me ripping it apart, you know what I'm saying? But let's go ahead and just try to take another hit. <sighs> Nothing on that one, but I was also hitting it very badly. Still got tobacco in my mouth, though. Let's go ahead and take another hit. A little bit of smoke on that one. This definitely is, the, the name of this cigarello though, I will be completely honest y'all, is very much a good description. It is very much a sweet, aromatic cigarello. It's very smooth and it's very sweet, you know what I'm saying? It definitely is very sweet and definitely to my liking. But, but, it's almost unsmokable. It's almost unsmokable. I really am struggling with this. And this really is, I gotta be completely honest y'all, sadly, getting on my nerves, you know what I'm saying? The Backwood Sweet Aromatic Cigarella is really honestly getting on my nerves. <sighs> got a little bit on that one, got a little bit on that one. And it definitely is a sweeter taste. I'm really trying to pinpoint the taste right now since I'm actually able to get a little bit more. Since I feel like I'm getting into the cigarello a little bit more, I'm able to get a little bit more of the taste. And it definitely does not taste super similar to the Backwoods Russian Cream, but it certainly does have a similar sweet taste. The sweet taste is definitely similar, but not exactly the same. If I had to compare this to anything, I would probably say that this is very much alike that $2 cigar I tried a while back. That $2 cigar I tried a while back very much is very reminiscent of this, I gotta be completely honest with y'all. So if anything, I would say that this tastes almost like just a normal sweet cigar, I gotta be completely honest with y'all. Definitely something that's just nice and relaxing, but not any sort of extreme taste or anything like that. Definitely just a cigar taste. That's a sweeter taste, you know what I'm saying? So really no complaints on the taste on my behalf, but my main complaints about this are that it's pretty much unsmokable, you know what I'm saying? It's pretty much unsmokable. So I think without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and try to take a couple more hits, and then I'm probably just gonna go ahead and end it right there, because I I am just giving up on this, you know what I'm saying? I am just giving up on this. It is certainly a shame, $1.25 wasted, you know what I'm saying? But it is what it is, the Backwoods Sweet Aromatic. If I had a slightly less tight one, I'm sure I would have had a better experience, but I do not have a slightly less tight, light, less tight one. I do have a very tight one, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And I feel like that, that, that clip right there is probably gonna be taken out of context, but it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> All right. All right, now I feel like uh, now I feel like I'm actually getting some now I feel like I'm actually getting somewhere with this kind of thing. I actually am getting some pull, you know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and just try to try to get this relit. Mm. <sighs> 
still not much. I don't know if it's the weak flame on this or what it is kind of thing, but this certainly is annoying. I will be completely honest with y'all. There we go, a little bit of smoke on that one, a little bit of smoke on that one. Let's go and put my sunglasses on because it certainly is bright today, you know what I'm saying? It certainly has gotten a lot brighter since the beginning of the video. But let's go ahead and just try to take another hit, you know what I'm saying? Let's go and just try to take another hit. Still a little bit on that, that same taste, just that normal cigar taste, I gotta be completely honest, y'all. So really, this is overall definitely a decent cigarello, I gotta be completely honest, y'all. But it's something where I got a bad batch. I got a bad product from the line, and I'm sure there's plenty of these that are plenty fine. But since I got the bad one, it's definitely going to be hard for me to give this a, a, a nice positive rating, i got to be completely honest with you. And this is probably the worst experience I've had with the Backwood Cigar so far. And as I said, it is very disappointing. This is very disappointing. I had high hopes for this, and it's something that I really enjoy Backwoods kind of thing. I think the taste, compared to other Cigarello brands, is definitely just exemplary and much better and much bolder kind of thing. And this this is really just kind of irritating, i got to be completely honest y'all. But I think I'm probably just going to give up here, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to go ahead and just try to get it relit this one more time. I'm really just trying to get this full review going, but I haven't even been able to test the body, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, really not much. I will be honest though, unlike in the beginning, it is actually getting rougher and rougher. I don't know if it's because of the pure amount of, of lighter fluid I'm pouring into it, you know what I'm saying? But that could certainly be it. But this just overall is not smoking well and is honestly making me lose my breath a little bit. I need some water, but I did not bring any out with me today, so it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? But let's go ahead and just try to smoke one more little bit, and then I'm going to go and end the video right there, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, as said, the taste is definitely nice. As said, it's comparable to that $2 cigar I tried a while back, you know what I'm saying? I may try rolling this into a cigarette and seeing how it is, you know what I'm saying? But right now, it is certainly hard for me to recommend this. It's rough. It doesn't draw very well. And as said, I'm sure there are different ones of the Backwoods Sweet Aromatic that do draw well. This is certainly just not one of them, and it is certainly going to be hard for me to recommend this or anything like that. Although, of course, I would not recommend this because that is against YouTube's community guidelines. So, of course, this is not a recommendation. This is simply a review, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. But, but, overall, the Backwoods Sweet Aromatic Cigar, I'm going to give it a solid 3 out of 10. 3 out of 10, the packaging is great, and that's literally all it gets kind of thing. The packaging is all of the points, and the rest of it kind of just sucks. I don't mind the look of it kind of thing, but the simple fact that it can't smoke well, the taste is good, don't get me wrong, and you know what, I'm going to bump it up to a 4 out of 10 just because I'm feeling nice today, you know what I'm saying, because the taste is good, but since it is basically unsmokable, I'm just going to have to go ahead and give it a 4 out of 10. But yeah, I know this has probably been a little bit of a disappointing video, and I know it's been a little bit of a long video as well, so I hope you guys do not mind this being a little bit of a long video, you know what I'm saying? But I do hope you guys have enjoyed, you know what I'm saying? If you guys have enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe for more content. I got my Instagram, my book, my merch, everything in the description down below, you know what I'm saying? Go check it all out. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Until the next one, y'all, stay safe and peace, and have a great one. Yes, sir, yes, sir, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying?